can you see the screen all of you is the screen visible to you yes sir yes sir yes sir has anybody tried this problem yes sir did you get the answer i feel it double sin theta hmm how much double sin theta w sin theta yes sir okay good or w sin phi anything clear anyone else yes sir okay we'll do this problem okay <clears throat> so the question is what is the question here a block of weight w you can see here is placed on a rough horizontal plane surface as shown in the figure and here you are applying which force here pull force yes and it is applied at an angle theta with the horizontal such that the block is just tending to move now you have to find out what is the least value of p where this particular angle theta is equal to the angle of friction got it so let me uh, let us see So again, once again, I'm drawing the diagram. I hope everybody has written this question. So this is your which surface? Yes. Rough horizontal. Horizontal surface. Rough horizontal surface. Clear. so it was given that this is the weight w and this is the p or the pull force which is applied at an angle theta with the horizontal and this is your normal reaction and uh, as the diagram suggests you are applying the pull force so this will be your direction of motion of the body so ultimately this will be your opposite side the frictional force will be there is it okay so first thing is first you have to draw the what a free body diagram yeah free body diagram so let us draw the free body diagram so weight is acting in which direction vertically weight downward always, weight always acts vertically downward direction and this is your normal reaction here the body cannot go in downward direction so the reaction is upward okay so i have drawn the vertical uh, axis the vertical plane also clear and here you are applying the pull force p at an angle theta so this is your frictional force the free body diagram is clear okay so first what you have to do resolve the forces horizontally 
So when we resolve the forces, before that, this particular P, we have to resolve into horizontal component and vertical component. Here the force is outward, so components are also outward. So what are the components here? P cos theta. P cos theta. P cos theta, and here it is. P sin theta. P sin theta. P sin theta. Good. Okay. Now let us resolve the forces horizontally. So in horizontally, how many forces are there? Two. Two. I can write. P cos theta equals to mu r. P cos theta is equal to mu r. So let us take this as equation one. The next is. Resolve the forces. Vertically. So when we resolve the forces vertically, what do you, what is the equation we get? What is the equation? R plus P sin theta equal to W. R plus P sin theta is equal to W. Very good. So what is R here? W minus P sin theta. W minus P sin theta. So now this is equation two. So substitute R in which equation? Equation one. In equation one. So you get P cos theta is equal to mu into W minus P sin theta. Okay. Now, actually, what is this mu? Mu is what? Coefficient of friction or not? Yes. Now, you know the relation between coefficient of friction and angle of friction. What is that? Mu is equal to tan theta. Mu is tan equal to phi. tan phi. Tan phi. Then you ask, sir, why we are using this? Because, as in the question, he is saying that prove that the force P will be least if the angle theta is equal to angle of friction. So we have to involve this angle of friction, that is phi, in this equation. So this is the tan phi W minus P sin theta. Okay, so please write it down. So this let us solve it. So P cos theta is equal to somebody help me. Then sine phi by cos phi W minus P sine theta. Then cross multiplication P cos theta into cos phi is equal to, I am opening the brackets here, w sin phi minus p sin theta sin phi. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Next. p cos theta into cos phi I am bringing this to the other side plus P sin theta into sin phi is equal to W sin phi. So, trigonometry. Okay. So, P taking common cos theta cos phi plus sin theta sin phi. What is it? Cos theta minus pi. So it is? Cos theta minus pi. Cos theta minus pi. Sorry. Cos theta minus pi. 
is equal to W sin phi. This is cos theta minus phi. So P is equal to W sin phi by cos theta minus phi. Okay, so this is the value of P. But here is saying when P will be least. Now my question is when this particular P can be minimum? When P, when P can be Denominator part is minus phi to above minus sin phi. Yeah. When this is maximum, this can be minimum or not? Yes. When this is yes, maximum, sir. this will be minimum. So you should write that statement. The force P will be least if the denominator. What is the denominator? Cos theta minus phi is maximum. Okay. So let us see. Cos theta minus phi. When it will be maximum? 1. Cos 0. That is? Cos 0 one. anyway. Okay. So, theta minus phi is equal to cos inverse. Okay, theta minus phi is equal to how much? Hmm. Zero. 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 Cos inverse is equal to zero. So, theta is equal to phi. Okay. So, P least is, see here, P least is how much? W sin phi or W sin theta. Okay. So, from here we came to the conclusion that Hence, the force P will be least if the angle of inclination of the P with the horizontal is equal to the angle of friction. So, if these two are equal, then force P will be least or not? And what is the least value, minimum value of P? W sin phi or W sin theta as theta is equal to phi. This is the answer. Okay. Is it clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Have you completed this? Yes, sir. Now we have done till now the friction problems where the body was on the horizontal plane. Now let us do some more problems where the body is in inclined plane. Let us do some problems. So write down the question. A body of weight 500 Newton is pulled up an inclined plane. It is pulled up an inclined plane, pulled up
by applying a force of how much? How much pull force you are applying? 350 Newton. Next. The inclination of the plane is how much degrees? 30 degree. 30 degree to the horizontal. horizontal. And the force is applied force is applied parallel to the plane which plane i am talking about parallel to which plane it is parallel to which plane Inclined plane. Okay. So what you have to find out? What you have to find out? Coefficient of friction. Coefficient of friction. See, now no diagram is given to you. Let us create the diagram by reading the question. A body of weight 500 Newton is pulled up an inclined plane. It pulled up an inclined plane. So first, let us draw the inclined plane. Okay. So when he is saying to determine the coefficient of friction, nowhere in the question it has been mentioned that it is a rough horizontal surface. But as he is saying to determine coefficient of friction, you should identify that this is a rough surface. Next, the body is placed on an inclined plane and it is pulled up by a force of how much? 350 Newton. 350. And this angle of inclination is how much? 30 degree. 30 degree to the horizontal. And this force that you are applying, he is saying that it is parallel to the plane. Remember, parallel to the plane. Parallel to the plane, if it is in the question, it is parallel to the inclined plane. If it is the inclined plane problem. Got it? If it is parallel to horizontal plane, specifically it will be indicated in the question that it is parallel to horizontal plane. If it is parallel to inclined plane and if it is an inclined plane question, we will simply write parallel to the plane. So students, all of you remember in this way. So it is parallel to the plane means parallel to the inclined plane, a full force is applied. So this is 350 Newton. Okay. And the weight of the body is how much? Weight always acts vertically downward. So this, this is the question. So by reading the question, you have to draw the diagram. The diagram is clear, all of you? Yes. So next solution, how to find out? What do you have to find out? Mu. Mu. So what do you have to draw first? Again and again for all the problems. Again, all the problem. Free body diagram. And I told you when you draw the free body diagram, it should be free from support. And the, the drawing I am drawing here, it is not a support. I'll, it becomes a support if I draw a hatching line here. I am not drawing any hatching line. So the weight of the body acting vertically downward, that is how much? 500 Newton. Angle is 30 degree. It 
this is the pull force that you are applying a pull force of 350 newton okay so here how many contact surfaces are there One. how many contact surfaces are there one contact surface so how many reaction one one normal reaction one, one normal perpendicular to the contact surface if this angle is 30 what is this angle 30 30 already discussed now now this i can i take it as a horizontal plane and this as a vertical plane yes yes and this is 500 newton which is outward so what are the components Five hundred cos thirty. Five hundred cos thirty degree. And this is five hundred sin thirty degree. Sin thirty. Now this body you are pulling in the up the plane direction. So this is the direction of motion or not? So this is your direction of motion. Just only for reference, I am writing here. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So the frictional force will be opposite to that. So what is the frictional force? F is equal to. Equal to. F is equal to. Okay. So all the forces we have indicated in the free body diagram. Next. Now all the forces are passing through common point. Common point. Clear. And the body is in equilibrium under the action of all these forces, which is shown in the free body diagram. Now let us resolve the forces. Clear. Yeah. First thing is resolve the forces. Horizontally. So in horizontally, how many forces are there? Five fifty. And these two are in the opposite direction. Okay. So how can I write? Three fifty is equal to mu r plus five hundred sine thirty. Okay, five hundred sine thirty plus mu r. Or anything. Okay. So this is your equation one because we have two unknowns. So let us see what we get in the next. If you resolve the forces vertically, what do you get? Which let us see. So resolve the forces. Vertically. Okay, so when you resolve the forces vertically, I am writing over here. Yes. R equal to five hundred cos five hundred cos thirty. Very good. R is equal to five hundred cos thirty. So what is the value of five hundred cos thirty? Four three three point zero one two. Zero one. Four three three point zero one. We'll take this. Four three three point zero one newton. Now, next thing is what? Substitute. Substitute the value of R in equation one. So, what is equation one here? Mu R plus 500 sine 30 is equal to 350. So let us solve here. So mu is equal to 350 minus 
500.30 divided by R. What is R here? 432.01. So directly, what is the answer you say me? 0.23. Zero point two. So this is your answer. Is it clear? So this is how you solve the problem. Is it clear? Yes, sir. You have completed? Yes, sir. So. Let us do one more follow. I hope all of you are understanding. Here the diagram is given to you. Again, this is very very important problem. So this is the inclined plane, rough inclined plane. So this surface is a rough surface. It is a rectangular prism. Which prism? Rectangle. Rectangular prism. This is the body. Okay. And the weight of the body, which is rectangular prism, the weight of the body is given as how much? Fifteen newton. And it is resting on a which surface? Rough inclined surface as shown in the figure. Now, if the body is in equilibrium, if you place this, is it in equilibrium? Is it in equilibrium? No, sir. No. The body will, no, sir. The body will go down. Okay. So what I am doing here is, I am tying this body with a string. Okay, again this is a horizontal string you see. This is a string which is parallel to this particular horizontal plane. Okay. If you want, you can name it. The string name is. What is the name of the string? 
BC. BC. No doubt all of you know that string is having which tension? No, sorry, which force? Tensile force. I already told you the answer. Tensile force. Yeah. String BC will is having tensile force of how much? 5 Newton. So how will say tensile force means it is an away force or not? Yes, sir. So C the direction it is from B to C. This is the tensile force. Okay. So this is the question given to you. So what you have to find here? You have to find number one. Frictional force on the block. Number two, yes, what is the second one? Normal reaction. Normal reaction, Normal reaction of the Which normal reaction of the inclined plane? Okay. And last one is coefficient of friction. Coefficient of friction between the contact surfaces. So three things we have to find out here. So let us solve. What you have to draw first? Free body diagram. First you have to draw the free body diagram. What is the angle here? Forty five degree. This is the rectangular prism. Weight always acts vertically down. What is the weight of the body? Fifteen Newton. Fifteen Newton. And what is this line I have drawn here? Normal reaction. There is a normal reaction perpendicular to the contact surface, which you already know it. Next. Now my question here is, please listen carefully. Here. The body is tied with a string. Assume you are the body, you are there on the inclined plane and you are tied with the string and that string is attached to the inclined plane. So my question is, you all, this body or yourself will tend to move in which direction? Okay, assume that this, this particular string is not there. So it will move in which direction? It will move in which direction if BC is not there? Array, if BC is not downward. there, it will move in down the plane. Downward. Yeah, down the plane. So here it is tied. Yes, here it is tied. No doubt the body is in equilibrium. But it will tend to move in which direction? Tend it. It will tend to move in which direction? It is trying to move in which direction? Downward. Downward only. So, down. Again, one more thing. This tensile force, can I put it in the, at the center of gravity or not? Because all are parallel to each other. 
Yes. yes. So, this is your which force? The tensile force? Tensile. How much it is? 5 Newton. Okay. So, I am drawing a vertical line here. Now the body is tending to move in which direction? Down the plane. Down the plane. So frictional force will be? Up, for. up the plane. Okay. Draw it very carefully. Now, if this angle is 45 degree, what is this angle? Forty-five. 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 Now, this is a horizontal. This is parallel to horizontal or not? Already I told you the string. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, this one and this is a horizontal line and this is a vertically. The weight is always acting vertically downward. So, horizontal, vertical. What is the angle? 90. 90. So, what will be the other angle? 45. 45. 45. Next. This. This is your parallel to the inclined plane, this line, which is the frictional force. We are here to find the angle. Now, this is a normal reaction or not? Perpendicular to the contact surface. Perpendicular to the contact surface. Yes. Perpendicular to the contact surface. So, what is the total angle? 90. 90. So, what is the other angle here? 45. 45 degrees. 45. Okay. So, why we are doing all these things? Listen. Now, this becomes your... We are more concerned about this. This is your which line? horizontal plane and this is your vertical plane. So, what are the components? This is an outward force. So, what are the components? Fifteen cos what we have been doing. And this component is? Fifteen sin what we have been doing. Okay. Now, come to here. This is 5 Newton acting at an angle 45 degree. So, which one you will consider? You can consider this angle or this angle. It is up to you. I am putting a circle here. I am considering this angle. Any, any, this angle, sir, I want to consider, you consider. Because cos 45 sin 45 values are same or not? So, there is no issue. Now, this is, yes. this is outward. So, what are the components? I am considering this angle, please. So, this is your 5 cos 45 and this is 5, five sin. Sin. This angle again is five sin. saying I am considering this angle. Sir, I want to consider this angle. You can consider it. Okay. So, all the forces we have shown it in the free body diagram. Now, the body is in equilibrium under the action of all the forces which has been shown in the free body diagram. Now, let us do. Now, it becomes very simple once you draw the free body diagram. So, three things you have to find out as given in the question. First thing is what you have to find? Frictional force. Frictional force. Second one is? Normal reaction. Normal. Third one is normal reaction. Coefficient of friction. Coefficient of friction. Mu. So let us see. Resolve the forces. Yes. What is that? Now one question let me ask you. Can I resolve vertically first? Yes. Yes, sir. You can resolve vertically. You can resolve yes, horizontally. Sir. horizontally first. Anything you can do. 
it is not necessary i'm saying that sir you're saying horizontally first horizontally you can resolve vertically also first no issue resolve the forces horizontally in horizontally how many forces are there Three. Mu R plus five cos forty five is equal to fifteen fifteen sine forty five. Fifteen sine forty five. We have two unknowns here. Mu and R. So let it. Let us go to the next. Resolve the forces vertically. Vertically, what are the forces? See here, vertically, how many forces are there? One is upward. And two are downward. downward. So R is equal to Down. R equal to five. Sorry, R is equal to five cos cos to five. What is the answer here? Cos fifteen cos forty five. Fourteen point one four two. So R is equal yes, to fourteen point one four two. Newton, or you can take fourteen point one four also. So first we got which answer? Answer for the second. Next, substitute the value. Substitute the value. Substitute. Substitute the value of R in. Equation one. So mu is equal to. Let us put directly. Fifteen sine forty five minus five cos forty five divided by fifteen sine forty five minus five cos forty five divided by R. So what is R here? Fourteen point one four two. How much you are getting? Calculate directly and get me the answer. Zero point five. Zero point five. Zero point five. Zero point five. Okay, so you got the answer for new third one. So what is the first one? Simple frictional force F. Is equal to mu r. You know the formula. What is mu? Zero point five into what is r? Fourteen point one four two. How much you got? Fourteen point zero seven. So you got frictional force. First you got normal reaction, then coefficient of friction, then frictional force. Any doubt? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have noted it down all. Yes, sir. 